Oh, and the lovely tea pose. Of course. Hey, everybody's. It's me, Melexa. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Today, I am bringing you a new episode of Not So Berry. I know it has been a while, but listen, I am not giving up on this challenge. I have had people ask me if I'm still playing this challenge, and I am. And I am ready to get back into the family because last time, we kind of left off on a pretty not so great note. So let's see what Mercury has been up to and how Marla has been feeling about her so, pregnancy. It is their last day on vacation and in case you missed the last episode, we found out that Marla is pregnant and she's not too happy about it so mercury has just been talking to her throughout the whole process because he's been noticing that she's been really really sad about everything and as much as mercury wants to you know keep the baby because that would be his second child and lavender would be a big sister so he would love to keep the baby but he knows at the end of the day, this is Marla's decision and whatever she wants to do goes. But he is going to offer the best that he can to make sure that the pregnancy goes smooth. Like he's gonna offer a massage for her. I know he's gonna like offer to cook for her and try to reassure about the pregnancy and like organize to provide for the baby as well. He just wants to make sure everything goes well and he wants to make sure Marla feels good with this pregnancy because I know she's been really stressed and she wasn't ready. She just simply wasn't ready. As much as she got along with lavender she didn't realize she would get pregnant so fast so this is what's like making her feel confused and unsure so in the meantime let's have mercury make some food for the family so i think what we can do is share worries about the pregnancy like marla is going to admit that she's scared because this is her first child ever and she does care about mercury she really does but she's just scared about like everything going wrong throughout this whole thing and mercury is like don't worry babe i will make sure that this baby will have the best life and i will make sure that you feel amazing through this whole pregnancy don't worry about anything okay marla so mercury is just trying to make everything work and also what trimester is she on she is in her second trimester this pregnancy is not getting any better there is still time to make a difficult decision but marla is just not sure no matter what she does the damage is done and there will be no going back from this Life is permanently altered. Yeah, so she's just sad because she feels like she won't be a great mom. But Mercury is trying his best to reassure her throughout this whole pregnancy. But right now she's feeling confident though. So she's feeling great. She's feeling better now that like Mercury has been comforting her throughout this whole thing. So let's go grab a serving and just eat together. Is Lavender hungry? No, she's not hungry. Oh, but Lavender wants to become friends with Marla. That's really, really sweet. But I think before we go back home today, I do want to have a nice family picnic here in Penfern on Bagley. But let's go keep talking to Marla, making sure that she feels good. We also want to tell Marla that we would love to keep the baby but not in front of Lavender because I feel like this is a really personal discussion. So Lavender, let's... Oh, I love how everyone is helping out and cleaning the dishes. That's so cute. Oh, and the little foxy. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna miss you. Oh wait, where are they? Oh, they went to... Okay, they went to early parenthood classes. So learning important stuff. Gosh, there's so much to taking care of babies. No matter if you've done it before or not, the info easily gets overwhelming. Mercury is focusing hard to try and integrate everything. All right. So hopefully the classes will help them both out. 
Okay, so they are back home and they had an excellent class and Marla's actually feeling better now. I feel like she's a little bit more excited now that they've been going to therapy and these classes and now she's like, okay, I think I can do this. So Marla retained a lot of information from that early parenthood class. It makes the prospects of having a baby in her class less daunting, which is fantastic. But like I said, Mercury wants to take out the girls before they go back home to the city life. So let's go and go to the park here. Alrighty, oh, it's so beautiful here. Holy crap wow let's go have lavender go ahead and play in the water and look for frogs while like marla and mercury are over here discussing more things and just watching lavender play oh look at him he's like oh go lavender look at you actually let's take some pictures of this too because this is really really cute and he definitely wants to remember this forever this is really adorable and then I definitely want Marla and uh, Mercury to at least take a picture together here to remember their vacation. Yeah, look at that. How sweet. And they're both feeling very, very flirty now, which is amazing. And then let's actually have her invite Mercury to feel the baby because she is on her second trimester she's like okay it's still hard for me but we can get through this together and i'm really excited to get this little one out in the world lavender you can go keep playing in water and look for more frogs and then you can go fishing while your dad and marla keep talking about all this oh what's going on oh <gasps> they're gonna woohoo with yo i didn't have them do this they did this on their own oh oh gosh be careful oh <laughs> here i'll help you out again hopefully that works this time okay there we go don't worry i got you both lavender how you doing you're having fun over here i think so i know lavender is going to miss being here vacationing in this gorgeous gorgeous world now that Marla is spending more time with Mercury and talking to him about her needs and like worries, I feel like she definitely sees that Mercury is willing to do everything for her and for the baby. Marla is going to decide to keep the baby and Mercury is really, really excited. Mercury's like, don't worry, Marla, I will be there for you every step of the way. And then Marla is feeling a lot better. I'm glad they are trying to make it work. But as we all know, Mercury needs to have three failed relationships. And this is his second one. For now, we'll enjoy the nice wholesomeness till it's the day where they eventually... Split. And I'm not excited for that, but for now, Mercury, I hope you enjoy. Oh, look, she's even talking about moving in, moving to a new place, like possibly moving here. And I feel so bad because my poor baby doesn't know he's gonna get his heart broken again. Okay, so while Marla is gonna go try to make sure things go smoothly she is going to take some classes as she does that we're gonna have Mercury go hang out with Lavender oh my gosh Lavender you need to use the restroom are there not any restrooms that you can go to <gasps> oh no okay so you're gonna tell your dad that you need to go to the bathroom real badly so let's go back back to the rental now that they are back home we are going to have mercury just work on his parenting skill a little bit more teach her to say please and thank you teach to say sorry and where are we with that uh level four not great <laughs> oh no and then we also need to practice singing too but we're not doing too bad we're almost done which is great your dad's gonna put on a show lavender as he teaches you basic manners so get ready for that it's gonna be great sorry to bother you but i've heard what a great person you are would you be interested in making a generous donation yeah of course mercury is definitely the type to donate money even though he doesn't have a lot himself. 
can be with the abgama flu. I'm obsessed with his singing voice. Holy crap, Mercury. It is time for us to go back home and the vacation. It was nice. Now it's time to go back to reality. Alrighty, we are back home. Holy poop. Did we not clean up? <laughs> Before we left, our whole apartment is so messy. Okay, can we tell Lavender to clean up? Yeah, let's go influence her to clean up the mess and everything like that. How's Marla doing? Marla's feeling really flirty. She is actually on her third trimester, so no going back. Well, this pregnancy will be over soon. It's too late to consider stopping it. Marla has to go through it now, and who knows how she will make it all work. She'll have to somehow because a baby is coming for sure. So she has decided to go through the pregnancy, even though she's still a little iffy about it, but she's just happy to know that at least she has some support. <gasps> Y'all, look at this. Look how cute this is. I love them. I'm just so sad because I know this relationship isn't going to work, but I'm just going to enjoy all these little tiny happy moments. Lovers comfort. There's nothing quite like finding rest in the arms of the person you love after a busy day. Mercury feels invigorated and ready to challenge the world after a blissful slumber with a sim he cares for the most. He really cares about Marla and oh my gosh, it's too wholesome. I can't. Oh my gosh, Mercury, you also need to take a shower, you nasty. <laughs> Well, what's the last time you take a shower, Mercury? Oh, goodness. Okay, here we go. Let's go have you just heavy lift for now, Mercury. I know you want to just work out and work on your fitness skill because we just need to reach maximum body potential. And I feel like he's going to do that like any moment. As with Marla, though, how she's doing. She's so tense. She's scared. She's sad. And she's craving lots of, lots of food. <laughs> oh, she's having a moment. Here, let's just have you watch. <gasps> okay, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Let's go to the hospital. We are here. Can we get checked in, please? Are we getting checked in? This is very sus. We're getting checked in, right? Yes. Okay, Mercury. I know you're really uncomfortable, but go follow your girlfriend and see your second child being born. Oh, look at him panicking. He's like, oh my gosh, it's happening. I can't believe it's happening. Oh, he's like running around in circles, not knowing what to do. Oh, and the lovely tea pose. Of course. <laughs> Mercury, your baby. Marla's. Oh my gosh. Why? <laughs> what? Why? With that noise. Oh my gosh. <gasps> but it's a baby boy. Okay. So. I saw a lot of people suggest the name Amethyst, and I think that is what we're gonna go for for our second child. And I'm really, really excited! Oh. Oh. She's having a girl as well. No wonder why Marlo is like not having it. Oh my goodness. I think for this one, I really like the name Iris. Please. Oh, thank God. Oh my God. I can't believe it. Are you serious? Mercury. Twins. Marla. Twins. Oh my gosh, look how happy she is for it to be over though. But she's like, oh my goodness, this is one more baby that I did not want. <laughs> and now we have to deal with two babies. Mercury, where did you go? 
Of course you would go all the way to the dang little workout section. All right, let's go home. So now that they're back home, Mercury is super, super excited about the twins. Marla though, now that the hardest part is over, for some reason, something inside her feels like she can't. So let's have Mercury be so excited and be like, Oh my gosh, Marla, I can't believe it. We have twins. Mercury is just super excited about his twins and he's really happy and super excited that Marla and him managed to get through the hardest part. But on the inside and she doesn't know how to tell mercury she is feeling a bit overwhelmed she's feeling sad she feels very uncomfortable and she really really thought that once the babies were born everything would be easier but now now that they are born she has realized can't do it <laughs> i also got a comment from atticus grace from the last episode and I honestly really love this idea and it, I totally see it happening. But basically, they have an idea for Marla. They're thinking Marla will leave Mercury because of the added stress with the baby on top of helping raising Lavender. The pregnancy was too much and when the baby is born, it's even harder. So she leaves without telling anyone or saying goodbye. And I definitely think that's what she's going to do. At night, Marla is going just to pack her things, pack her bags. She hears the babies crying. She hears how much they need and want. And on top of everything else, she can't be there for Mercury and be there for the kids as much as she thought she could. And so she is going to sneak off into the night. Oh, here too. And then she has to deal with Lavender. She's getting a phone call from school. We found an unsent love letter from Lavender to her teacher at her desk today. Nothing racy, but we thought we should know. Thank you for letting us know. Oh my gosh. And the neighbors, let's go pound on the door. And then like the kids crying constantly. But Mercury, he is so happy. Like he doesn't know what's going to be coming later. Oh my gosh, who are you talking to? Who is this man? Colin God? Why do I feel like she's gonna be like flirty? She wants to ask someone to go city even though you're dating Mercury? Oh no, what is she doing? She is flirting with this man. <gasps> are you kidding me? She's flirting with him behind Mercury's back. I'm so sorry this has to be this way. I feel so bad for him. Am I? What are you doing? Why are you in my house? What is going on? Oh my gosh, no. I I'm glad Lavender has a bad, like, hello, who are you? Get out of my house. And then Marla's gonna be like, oh no, Lavender, don't worry, it's, it's just the neighbor. Don't worry about him too much. But like, Lavender doesn't know that Marla actually kind of has a thing for him. After like, Mercury trying his best to give you everything, and like, he wanted to make sure everything went well, and Mercury wanted to make sure that Marla did everything that she wanted, and he didn't want to force her to do anything. But now, you're over here flirting with the neighbor? And there's this guy that looks exactly like you, named Cyrus? Mercury doesn't seem too suspicious though. And then he's like, oh, is that the neighbor? And Marla's like, yeah, that's the neighbor. Nothing suspicious here yeah and you kiss him even though we know what you did marla Ooh, yeah and she's like that was a close one i'm so glad he didn't notice here's mercury taking care of the twins while marla's over here just avoiding them like the plague and i feel like she would definitely text the neighbor and just like flirt with him she's gonna send a message 
compliment his looks. <gasps> oh, wow. I don't know what to say, Marla. Of course, and then she's going to respond to him about that. Oh, look at him. He's like sitting down and watching the kids channel right next to his kids. Are you kidding me? He really loves his kids. He really, really does. The next day. Y'all, it is the next morning. And as you can see here, Mercury has tears in his eyes because he just woke up crying his eyes out because Marla moved out and broke up with him. And he is now left alone with three kids. And now he's alone, sad because he thought everything was going great, wonderful. And now he is just left heartbroken and a single dad in the city just trying to give a great life for his kids. I just want to hug him. I feel so sad. And Mercury, you and me both thought that things were going well with her. But unfortunately, she couldn't handle things the way she thought she was. And now you are left alone with the two kids. But he doesn't hold any grudges against Marla because that's not Mercury. He still wants, you know, his kids to see the mom. So whenever Marla wants to see Amethyst or Iris, he will welcome her back with open arms. But their relationship is never going to be the same and then lavender has no idea that this happened and it's so sad because she wants to become friends with marla but at the end of the day honestly kind of glad they've broken up because marla was already already had her eyes on someone else aka mr neighbor so yeah i'm sorry to end it on a sad note mercury but you will find true love. I promise you that. But with that being said though, that is our second failed relationship done. And now we just need one more failed relationship and he can find true. But with wow. that being said though, this was such a roller coaster of emotions for this episode of Not So Berry. I was rooting for Marla and Mercury, but at the end of the day it didn't work out and now he is left alone with twins newborn twins are you kidding me anyway i did enjoy this episode and soon mercury will find love maybe he still has one more failed relationship and i just want to hug him <laughs> at this point i feel so bad but yeah if you are excited for the next episode of Not So Berry, definitely let me know in the comments below by giving this video a thumbs up. Your feedback helps the channel so much, so I really appreciate it. And if you didn't know, I also stream on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash I would love to see my Bobo buddies over there. And if you never want to miss a video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a thing. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye everyone!